Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Agriculture, SOA, Others Programs, Awareness Program on Value Added Products from Fruits and Vegetables, APVPFE, NPV001, Module to Post Harvest Management of Fruits and Vegetables, 1.0 Introduction, We Daily Eat Fruits as Fresh in Form of Salad and Vegetables After Cooking, But Many of us hardly know where they come from and how much care they have received during handling. Management of fruits and vegetables after the harvest is an important step till it reaches in the hands of the consumer. We as a consumer always look for the freshness of produce with least damage. Fruits and vegetables being most perishable. Bulky, soft and wet are more prone to injuries damages during handling and as a result, losses its good appearance and freshness. In order to reduce the damage to fresh fruits and vegetables during their handling a lot of care has to be taken in terms of better handling, methods, packaging, good transportation. In this module, losses cost to fruits and vegetables, prevention of losses, appropriate maturity for better quality, handling and storage have been described, 2.0 objectives. After studying this module you will be able to know the type of losses caused by the various factors, suggest the measures and ways to reduce or prevent the losses, guide on various pretreatments to improve the shelf life of the commodity. Suggest better packaging and transportation for fresh fruits and vegetables to reduce their damage and to extend shelf life and guide on various maturity parameters for harvesting the produce, 3.0 post-harvest management, 3.1 losses caused by various factors, it is important to know why fruits and vegetables are considered highly perishable commodities among all the foodstuffs. This is due to their higher 85-95% to 95 water content. Even a small loss of water to the extent of 2-5% from these commodities leads to shriveling and the commodity becomes unmarketable. Apart from this, fruits and vegetables are in large unit size, having high respiration rate, soft texture and therefore more prone to bruising. These factors further lead to more rotting and seen since and thus limits the shelf life of fruits and vegetables. There are various factors which cause the losses in fruits and vegetables. Let us know these factors. 3.1.1 Physiological Factors It is interesting to know that like mammals, fruits and vegetables also respire after harvest. During this process inhale oxygen, O2, and give out carbon dioxide, CO2, as they are living entities. This action leads to breaking of the stored organic materials into simple end products. In this process energy is released in the form of heat. The loss of stored food reserves during respiration means hastening the seasons. Reduced food, value, loss of flavor, quality particularly sweetness and loss of saleable dry weight, vegetables like spinach, peas, asparagus, sweet corn, mushroom has the highest respiration rate while it is the least in dried fruits and vegetables, dates and nuts. Apples, beet, citrus, garlic, onion, papaya, pineapple and potato has comparatively low rate of respiration and therefore better shelf life compared to other commodities, apart from core to fruits and vegetables also produce ethylene, the simplest of the organic compounds affecting the physiological processes of plants. Ethylene, as plant hormone, regulates many aspects of growth, development and seasons. It is physiologically active in trace amounts I. E less than 0.1 ppm. Generally, ethylene production rate increases with maturity, at harvest, physical injuries, disease incidence, and increased temperature up to 30 OC. Sapota, passion fruit and cherimoya has the highest ethylene production rate while the citrus, cauliflower, cherry, grape, pomegranate, strawberry, leaf, and root vegetables, potato, cauliflower, banana, fig, guava, mango, litchi and tomato has the moderate level of ethylene production. By now it will be clear to you that higher 
respiration and ethylene production after the harvest of fruit and vegetables reduces their shelf life at ambient temperature. Physiological factors like carbon dioxide and ethylene production are not visible. But metabolic changes are quite visible. Metabolic changes after harvest in fruits and vegetables change the color, texture, taste and flavor and this leads towards shortening of shelf life. Starch to sugar conversion, loss of chlorophyll, green pigment in fruits for e.g. mango, guava leads to ripening by forming carotenoid, yellow and anthocyanin, pigments, blue, purple, while it is not desirable in vegetables, have you ever noticed that after prolonged storage potato, apple, banana and mango tastes sweeter whereas peas and sweet corn get tougher? This is due to the fact that starch is converted into sugar after harvest in potato, apple, banana, mango, while the sugar is converted into starch in peas and sweet corn. Breakdown of protein and other polysaccharides and increase in lignin content after harvest results in softening of fruits and toughening of fruit vegetables respectively. Loss of vitamin C in fruits and vegetables during storage reduce the nutrient quality. Sprouting of potato, onions, garlic and root crop reduces the utilization value and accelerates deterioration. Seed germination inside fruits such as tomatoes, peppers and lemons after Harvest is undesirable change. Water loss during transpiration from the peel of fruits and vegetables after harvest is the main cause of deterioration because it results not only in direct quantitative loss but also in appearance, besides texture and nutritional quality. 3.1 point to physiological breakdown, this factor is generally ignored due to unawareness. Exposure of commodity to Indispensable temperature can result in physiological disorders and some examples are, given below, heat injury is induced by exposure to sunlight and or in extreme high temperature. This situation can occur in fruits and vegetables after harvest, certain type of physiological disorders like softening of texture peel pulp originates from pre-harvest nutritional imbalances particularly of calcium, potassium, zinc, borone, molybdenum, etc. Other types of injuries like freezing injury can occur due to holding or storing fruit below its freezing temperature while the chilling injury occurs in tropical and subtropical fruits due to storing fruits below their optimum storage temperature. For instance, banana gets chilling injury and turns black when stored in refrigerator at 4 OC as against its optimum temperature of 13 degrees centigrade very low level of oxygen, O2, and high level of carbon dioxide, CO2, can also cause injury in fruits and vegetables during gas storage or at ordinary storage due to over capacity or under capacity of fruits vegetables during storage. 3.1.3 Physical Factors Various types of physical damage like surface injuries, impact injuries, vibration, Bruising also occur in fruits and vegetables after harvest and these are major contributors to deterioration of the horticultural produce. In wholesale sabzi mandi we usually see damaged fruits and vegetables lying here and there. These injuries damages mainly occur in indigenous types of packaging materials like bamboo baskets, wooden boxes and gunny sacks where there is no appropriate padding or cushioning inside the container too. Take care of these injuries during handling and transport of produce. 3.1.4 Pathological and Entomological Factors It is one of the most common and obvious symptoms of deterioration that results from the activity of bacteria and fungi which are already present on the surface of fruit or vegetables. Have you noticed that cut and bruised fruits and vegetables deteriorate rapidly than their wholesome counterparts? It is because the microorganisms get access into commodities through its physical or mechanical injuries and bring deterioration in the form of rot and softening of fruits. The known fungi during storage are Aspergillus, Penicillium, Rhizopus, Cladosporium and bacteria like Cocci and Lactobacillus group. Stem end rot is most common in mango, Alternaria rot in grape, Penicillium in citrus, 
fruits, aspergillus, and rhizopus in most vegetables, presence of fruit fly or stone weevil infestation that mainly occurs in mango during storage is major entomological problem and therefore damage caused by this pest is most important. Insect infestation in dried fruits during storage is also common damage and therefore maintaining appropriate moisture level in dried fruits and moisture-proof packagings are important aspects in storage of dried fruits. Three point to prevention of losses. Earlier we have learnt about the various factors that cause the losses. The factors include the physiological including respiration and ethylene production, metabolic changes after the harvest, physiological breakdown due to heat injury, chilling injury, freezing injury, and the mineral deficiencies leading to cell wall damage, besides physical damage and pathological damage. Now we shall look into various approaches and means by which these losses can be prevented and reduced protection of fruits and vegetables, therefore, must begin with cultural practices in the field and continue until they are consumed. Deterioration or losses can result during production from improper pruning, thinning, fertilization, disease control, and so on. Many problems result from cumulative insults to the fruit during the post-harvest handling periods. Thus, protection is vital, both in the field and the pack house to avoid immediate causes of deterioration and to delay its onset later in the distribution channel. Tools or hand used for harvesting the fruits and vegetables should cause least injuries or bruising while plucking and handling these commodities. Tapered nails on the hand Fingers and also the rough surface of hand palm may also cause injuries and bruising and, therefore, it is advisable to use soft hand gloves while harvesting and handling. 3. Point to point to field containers Field containers used to gather fruits in the field should have smooth bottom and sides so that while gathering the fruits in such containers, bruises or injury does not occur. Plastic crates have become common field containers in place of bamboo or metal baskets. 3. Point to point 3. Least exposure to sunlight heat and care during field transport. Assembled goods in the field should not be exposed to direct sunlight or heat and shall be stored under the shade before packing and entering into the distribution channel. Many opportunities for bruising occur during field transport. This may occur due to impact over or under filling of containers. Supervision is needed at all stages of field transport to minimize the accumulation occurrence of physical injuries. 3.2.4 Sizing and grading, depending upon the commodity to be packed. Other special treatment may be required pre-sizing and grading. This operation is done by hand before packing but Machines are also used for this purpose in modern pack houses established in this country for fruits like mango, citrus and few root or stem vegetables commodities. Such facilities are available in few private pack houses and also in National Dairy Development Board. NDDB owned pack houses under the Suffol chain. One has to see that no injury or Bruising occurs as result of dumping or friction or rough handling during the process. Weight, volume, length, diameter or other parameters are used as the criteria for separating products into unit size. 3.2.5 Cleaning and washing Fruits and vegetables may need cleaning and washing to remove soil or contamination or other foreign material or wax from product surface by washing or brushing or both. Fig. 18. The wash water may or may not be chlorinated. However, the recycled water shall always be chlorinated. Generally, municipal tap water is chlorinated. 3.2.6 Trimming Removal of unwanted leaves. Stems or roots before grading or packing mostly in vegetables of cabbage, cauliflower, dried onion, garlic, lettuce, and asparagus is called trimming. This reduces the unnecessary foreign weight of the commodity. 3.2.7 Sorting Select the product by maturity, shape, color or some other physical parameters. Culling is part of both sorting and grading. Spoiled and damaged fruits and vegetables should be sorted out from fresh and healthy lot. 
3 point to point 8 curing, vegetables particularly garlic, onions, potatoes, sweet potatoes are cured after, harvest and before storage and marketing. Don't confuse it with curing of disease. Onions and garlic are cured to dry the necks and outer scales. Potatoes and sweet potatoes are cured to develop wound peridermis overcut, broken or skin surfaces. Curing helps to heal harvesting injuries, reduces water loss and prevents entry of decay causing organisms during storage. In our country this operation is generally done in the fields. 3.2.9 Waxing Cover surface of product with food grade wax to reduce water loss through epidermal openings or to replace natural wax removed during washing. Don't use commercial candle wax. Waxes are generally applied only to fruit type vegetables like tomatoes, eggplant, cucumber, capsicum, and fruits like mango, banana, citrus, lime, etc. This can be applied by giving dip in waxol, 6 to 12 percent solution or spraying it on the surface of fruit. There are wax applicators developed for this purpose. 3rd February 2010 Disease Control Some post-harvest disease preventing treatments may be applied during packing. Heat treatment or vapor heat treatment has been suggested in case of mango, papaya and other fruits to control the rot diseases and the infestation of fruit fly or stone weevil. Fungicide application, when needed, is commonly applied through dip or spray method or often with waxing or immediately after waxing. Fungicides are often incorporated into fruit waxes to aid in achieving a uniform surface application. All chemical application must be made in strict conformity to label provisions. 3rd February 2011 Packing Enclose the consumer units of product in individual packaging, wraps, bags, sleeves, trays or other units that are then packed in master packages. Most material used for consumer units packaging are plastic films composed of two or more types of films, material combined into single film. Paper bags are also used. Product unit in a consumer. Unit packages should be of comparable weights, size, maturity, and grade. Some packaging involves enclosing a single product unit ahead of cauliflowers, while in other cases, the product units are enclosed in a single consumer unit. Potatoes, radish, carrots. Dot. Packaging is done both manually and automatically. 3rd February 2012 Packaging Packaging is used to protect fruits and vegetables from environment factors. It makes produce more attractive. For packaging, assemble a given quantity, count or weight of comparably sized product units or consumer units in packages. When counts are used, products are often packed in specific arrangements within packages. Counts, arrangements, and weights are often specified in and regulated by various government and industry codes or tariffs. Packages may be earthen pots, bamboo baskets, bags, cartons, crates, lugs, bulk bins. Some products are shipped and packed to market in bulk, trucks or railroad cars. Bananas and other fruits are examples of these cases. 3rd February 2013 Ripening or Color Initiation Apply ethylene or ethylene-producing materials to stimulate ripening in fruits like banana and mango and tomato or change the color in oranges, lime and lemons. There are specialized chambers rooms to control temperature, air composition and humidity for such treatments. Such facilities are available now with few private packers and National Dairy Development Board NDDB, pack houses. 3rd February 2014 Cooling Pre-cooling Remove heat from product before shipping or long-term storage by cooling. Lowering product temperature fast after harvest extends storage and shelf life. This is followed for high-value and long-distance traveling fruit vegetable commodities, particularly for export purpose. In export pack houses particularly in case of grapes, mango and banana, those are common practices to reduce the temperature of harvested.
produced to minimum optimum storage temperature within smallest possible time after harvest, i4 to 6 hours after harvest, dot, 3.3 maturity, maturity indices, and harvesting system. For most fresh perishables, harvest is manual, so the picker is responsible for deciding whether or not the product has reached the correct maturity for harvest. Maturity has an important bearing on their storage life and quality. This may affect the way they are handled, transported and marketed. 3.3.1 What is maturity? Maturity is a stage at which a commodity has reached a sufficient stage of growth and development. After harvesting and post-harvest handling including ripening, its quality will be at least the minimum acceptable to the ultimate consumer. 3.3.2 Horticultural Maturity It is very important to know when fruits should be plucked from trees and when vegetables should be taken up from the plants for good quality produce. Horticultural Maturity is a stage of development where a plant possesses the requisite characters for utilization by the consumer for particular purpose. For example, sprouts or seedlings are Horticulturally mature in the early stage of development whereas most vegetative tissue, flowers, fruits and underground storage organs become horticulturally mature in the mid stage and seeds and nuts in the late stage of development. The fruit becomes edible only after proper ripening has taken place. In contrast, in most vegetables optimal maturity coincides with optimal eating quality. 3.3.3 Indices of Maturity Harvesting The maturity index for commodity is a measurement or measurements that can be used to determine whether a particular commodity is mature. Harvesting indices are important to the trade in fresh fruits and vegetables to meet trade regulations and marketing strategy. Objective maturity indices are vital for accurate prediction of harvested dates. Maturity indices for selected fruits and vegetables are given below. Maturity indices examples of fruits vegetables, elapsed days from full bloom to harvest apples, pears, mango, banana, mean heat units during development piece. Apples, sweet corn, development of abscission layer some melons, apples, surface morphology and structure cuticle formation on grapes, tomatoes, netting on some melons, Gloss of some fruits, development of wax, size all fruits and many vegetables, specific gravity cherries, watermelons, potatoes, mangoes, shape angularity of banana fingers, full cheeks of mangoes, compactness of broccoli and cauliflower, solidity lettuce, cabbage, brussels, sprouts, textural properties. Firmness apples, pears, stone fruits, tenderness peas, color, External all fruits and most vegetables, internal color and structure formation of jelly-like material in tomato fruits, flesh color of some fruits. Compositional factors, total solids avocados, kiwi fruit, starch content apples, pears, sugar content apples, pears, stone fruits, grapes, acid content, sugar acid ratio pomegranates, citrus, papaya, melons, kiwi fruit. Juice content citrus fruits, all content avocados, astringency, tannin content, persimmons, dates, internal ethylene concentration apples, pears, banana, mango, development of abscission layers, surface morphology and structure, size, shape, texture, properties, color, total solids, sugar, starch, acid and juice are important indices for us. 3.3.4 Maturity Determination Methods of maturity determination in various fruits and vegetables are given below. Look at the screen. From the table above you can infer that maturity is determined by subjective, objective, destructive and non-destructive methods. For example size measured by various measuring devices is objective and non-destructive whereas tenderness measured by tenderometer is an objective and destructive method. The various changes occurred at maturity which help in maturity determination are further described. 1. Physical changes at maturity A wide range of physical characters of commodity is used to assess their maturity. Changes in size, shape or surface characteristics of fruits and vegetables are common maturity indices. Vegetables are harvested when they have reached a marketable size and before they become too large. 
Banana maturity is determined as a change in diameter of the fingers and their angularity. The change in surface gloss or feel, waxiness, is used as practical tool in harvesting of some fruits and vegetables. Measurement of the development of abscission zone at the stalk of the fruit is possibly the oldest of all maturity indices. The color change that accompanies maturity in many fruits is widely used as maturity index. Color comparison techniques are therefore commonly used to assess the fruit maturity. Maturation of fruit is often accompanied by softening. Over mature vegetables frequently become fibrous or tough. These properties can be used to indicate maturity. 2. Chemical changes at maturity The maturation of fruits and vegetables is also accompanied by profound changes in their chemical composition. Chemical changes that are used for maturity estimation include the change in total soluble solids, measured using refractometer, changes in the distribution of starch in the flesh of the commodity, and measured using a starch, iodine reaction, and the sugar-acid ratio, which is used as legal maturity index for citrus and other fruits in some countries. 3. Physiological changes at maturity The maturation of commodities is associated with changes in their physiology as measured by changing patterns of respiration and ethylene production. However, these are hardly followed due to variability and complexity involved in these methods. 3.4 Harvesting methods The goal of harvesting are to gather a commodity from the field at the proper level of maturity, with a minimum of damage and loss, as rapidly as possible and at minimum cost. Today, as in the past, these goals are best achieved through hand harvesting in most fruits, vegetables and flower crops. Hand harvesting has many advantages over mechanical, machine harvesting. Humans can accurately select maturity, allowing accurate grading and multiple harvests. This is most relevant and appropriate in Indian situation. Recently some mechanical devices have been developed by ICR and SOC, which can enhance the efficiency of hand harvesting. Machine harvesting is generally followed in the developed countries. 3.4.1 Time of harvesting Have you noticed at what time farmers harvest their produce? The fruits and vegetables should be harvested early in the morning or late afternoon or evening. This will protect the produce from high temperature. 3.4.2 Handling During harvesting handle fruit with minimum of damage. Hiring more workers can increase speed. This requires less capital investment and use household employees. 4.0 Summary Post-harvest management of fruits and vegetables is important to improve food availability and to provide nutritional security to the nation. There are various factors which cause losses of fruits and vegetables. Major factors include physiological, physiological breakdown, physical, pathological and entomological. Respiration and transpiration rate and ethylene production as a result of physiological disorder or physical injuries in the form of bruising or cut or microbial attack are the major factors responsible for losses. Having understood the reasons of losses, the preventive measures have been then suggested to control the losses. It must be begin with cultural practices in the field and continue until they are consumed. The prevention of losses includes various approaches. These approaches suggest the tools, methods used for harvesting, type of field containers, least exposure to sunlight and heat, and care during transport, curing, vaccine, disease control treatments after harvest of produce, packaging and cooling of produce. Maturity indices are an important parameter in deciding the harvest of produce for better quality and shelf life of the product after harvest. Subjective and objective methods of maturity determinations have been elaborated in chart and tabulator form for better understanding the stage of maturity. Subjective method of maturities like size, shape, colors are more popular and easy to follow. Thank you, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and we will see you with the next chapter.